very much. So uh, I have to follow Tim's outstanding presentation, and all I have is PowerPoint. So I'm not sure what Tim used to make that, but I don't think it was PowerPoint. Uh, so again, my name is Joe Contour. I'm with uh, Panasonic, uh, and uh, I'm also the, uh, currently the chairman of the CE Work Group. And we have several members of the steering committee here today with us on, and uh, Ashley Sun, and Kato Sun, and Tim. <laughs> so I'd like to give a brief uh, update on what we've been doing in the organization um, over the past year, uh, what we're currently working on, and, and what we would like to see our next uh, next steps to be. So just as a, as a reminder, these are the, the companies that are currently uh, belonging to the steering committee of the CE Work Group. Uh, so as I said, we have several representatives that are here uh, today. And what we've been doing over the past year is kind of discussing what our future direction should be. So this, there's a number of projects that are currently underway. Um, and uh, as we start planning for the future, we, we kind of uh, are, are trying to come up with some new themes, new directions that will be um, you know, valuable, interesting, and, and hopefully that we can generate more interest and get more participation from. So uh, we started this last summer uh, having meetings with all of the steering committee companies individually and groups. And we've been uh, gathering a lot of input during that time. And what we've come up with are several possibilities. So kind of in a technical area and a not so technical area. So technically, uh, you know, one of the requests was that we have a way of sharing uh, LTSI testing among uh, the community or within the community. Uh, IoT, so I think Tim is going to take the lead on this one <laughs> as, uh, as we try to find what that should be. And I think Tim already has some uh, really great ideas on what he thinks it should be. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely be looking at that. Um, there's been a request for long-term support much, much longer than uh, you know, simply two years. So you know, we're looking at 10 years or greater for a number of uh, you know, industrial applications or uh, you know, social infrastructure or even automotive that, that need uh, you know, that length of time, what, that length of support. Uh, another possibility is mainlining SOC support upstream. Uh, also trying to come up with some standard uh, distributions uh, focused on embedded. And then uh, for focus areas, so obviously the CE work group uh, the CE stands for Consumer Electronics, but one of the challenges has been is that many of the traditionally consumer electronics companies are uh, de-emphasizing that because of uh, business environment and changes in consumer habits. So it may not be appropriate to be only a CE company or even a CE, not that, not that, not company, CE organization uh, going forward. So, you know, one of the areas, or several of the areas that we're looking at are automotive. Uh, as you know, we already have an uh, automotive Linux um, uh, group within the Linux Foundation, and, you know, we have members uh, that are both involved in automotive as well as CE. So we're trying to see how we can work with them and support them um, in their activities. Uh, social infrastructure, so this means, uh, you know, areas like, uh, Transportation, uh, uh, power systems, uh, power generation—you know—key critical infrastructure that uh, every every country uh, has, and uh, so this this could be an area for us. And uh, functional safety. So this is this is a kind of an emerging area in uh, in, the, in Europe as well as in Japan. Uh, not so much in the U.S. yet, but I think it's inevitable that we'll have to deal with that as well. So. Uh, these are just some of the areas that, uh, as a result of these discussions, are what we're looking at. So uh, what we've done is within the steering committee is, is we are, we've kind of identified uh, uh, people that will be taking the lead on developing a proposal on each of these areas. Um, so we'll be discussing that over the next several months. and. I hope that by uh, LinuxCon Europe we'll be in a position to be able to announce what our new direction is and new activities and new projects. And so that's, 
that, that's why I, I asked the uh, waiter on to be able to present this today because we really like to have your input and your participation. So if you have any comments or suggestions or you would like to uh, join the CE work group or whatever the new name of the CE work group is going to become, you know, please feel free to contact me, contact uh, Waitasan, uh, any of the members that are here today, uh, and they will be able to uh, give you information on how to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any question or comment? I think uh, the recently, not only the consumer electronics field, but also many bunch of the field are using, start using, or start considering to use Linux or the open source software. For my case, I am strongly involved in some certain uh, business area, which is not to consumer electronics, and they are eager to start using the Linux and the open source software. And I hope those kind of people or those kind of another industry to be, uh, you know, uh, to be go together with us to uh, to find another, you know, possibility of the open source software or some of the Linux. So, if you have some uh, comment or something uh, to talk, if, if maybe I will be able to talk in Japanese, and he will be happy to talk in English. But everybody would like to talk. Uh, would like, you know, see one group member would will quite happy to talk such kind of thing. For those days. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you.